Legend has it that, Sylvia Rhea, daughter of Numitor the king of Alba Longa, became pregnant by Mars the god of war. She gave birth to twin boys, Remus, and Romulus. During her pregnancy, her father was deposed, and replaced by her uncle Amulius. Not wanting any rivals for his throne, Amulius ordered the twin babies to be thrown into the Tiber River. But a she-wolf saved them from drowning, cared for them, breastfed them, and raised them. When the twins grew up, they decided to build a city on this land. But after an argument between them, Romulus killed his twin brother Remus. Romulus became the sole leader of the city they built and named it Rome in his honor. Thus was born the Roman Empire, which was founded in 753 BC as a city-state and grew into a vast empire that would rule for more than 2,000 years. The adventure that started as a small city-state kingdom with the foundation of Rome evolved into a republic and then an empire over time. Therefore, Roman history is analyzed in three different periods. The Kingdom Period, the Republic Period, and the Imperial Period. The Kingdom Period lasted for more than 200 centuries and was ruled by seven kings. But unlike other states, kings were elected by the Council of Elders and popular assemblies. The Roman state was ruled in this way for almost 250 years without trying to gain even the smallest piece of land. This small, non-warlike state was limited to the city of Rome. But in the last years of the Kingdom Period, rebellions and unrest led to the transition to Republican rule. Thus began the Republican period in which many things would change. The peace policy followed in the early years of the Republic was gradually replaced by wars. With an expansionist policy adopted, they soon began to expand beyond the borders of Rome, first on the Italian peninsula and then throughout the Mediterranean region. Thanks to their professional, heavily armored infantry called legionaries, the Roman state progressed step by step towards becoming an empire. In a very short time, Greece, the Iberian Peninsula, and North Africa were added to Roman territory. In France, they also began their struggle with the Gauls at this time. This period attracted the most attention in Roman history. The slave revolt of Spartacus, Julius Caesar, Brutus, Cicero, Marcus Antonius, Augustus, and Cleopatra are all well-known characters from this period. After a while, with the expansion of its borders, Republican government became inadequate. Realizing this opportunity, Julius Caesar declared himself dictator. However, he was stabbed to death in 44 BC by opponents including his closest son Brutus. After Julius Caesar's death, he was succeeded by his nephew Augustus who did what Caesar could not do. He closed the Republican period and started the Imperial period. The first years of the Imperial period were full of colorful characters. One of the most interesting emperors was Caligula who was mentally unstable and made many scandalous decisions such as making his horse a senator and declaring war on the god of the sea. The emperor Nero who came after him did not set a good example for governance either. It was even claimed that he deliberately started a fire in Rome and burned it down. Despite all these failed rulers, the Roman Empire, which had a well-established system, continued to gain territory for 200 years. In the 3rd century, due to its borders reaching from North Africa to Mesopotamia, from Western Europe to the Persian Gulf, various administrative problems and confusion began. Therefore, a new capital was sought to replace Rome in a location that could dominate both the Western and Eastern lands. In the end, Emperor Constantine chose Constantinople, now Istanbul, as the new capital due to its political and commercial importance as well as its geographical location. Beginning in 324, a magnificent palace, senate building, hippodrome, and churches were built, the city was surrounded by massive walls against enemy attacks, and six years later, on May 11, 330, Constantinople became the new capital of the empire with its official inauguration. The year 395 was a turning point for Rome. The Roman Empire, which had continued to decline until this date, was forced to split into two after turmoil began with the migration of tribes. After the death of Emperor Theodosius, the empire was divided between his sons Arcadius and Honorius. Arcadius became Emperor of the East with Constantinople as its capital, while Honorius became Emperor of the West with Milan and later Ravenna as its capital. Rome continued to have two different emperors until 476. It was at this time when Rome was divided that the Whip of God, as Roman historians called him, appeared, Attila the Hun Emperor. Attila gave the Eastern Roman Empire difficult years and played an important role in wearing down Rome. After Attila's death, 
the Western Roman Empire could no longer withstand attacks from other Germanic tribes and was completely destroyed during Romulus Augustus' reign and disappeared into history. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, it continued to exist for about 1,000 years as the Eastern Roman Empire or Byzantine Empire, as 19th century historians incorrectly called it. This Byzantium, the eastern half of the empire, was spared from attacks and even managed to prosper under Emperor Anastasios who ascended to the throne in 491. Although it maintained its status as a great empire until the 650s, it lost its territories in the Arabian Peninsula, North Africa, Egypt, and parts of Anatolia with the establishment of the Umayyads. The Turks were the tribe that would bring an end to the Eastern Roman Emperor who spent centuries stuck between the Balkans and Anatolia. In 1071, Turkish raids on Anatolia began with their victory at the Battle of Malatskur, which seemed to herald Byzantium's end. Indeed, as the Ottoman Empire, one of the Turkish principalities established in the region, grew inexorably, the Eastern Roman Empire became a small city-state trapped within the walls of Constantinople. In 1453, it was the seventh Ottoman Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror who dealt the final blow to the Roman Empire. Thus, the last remnants of the Great Roman Empire were erased from history. The Roman Empire, which left its mark on world history, ruled for 2,206 years from its foundation until the collapse of the Eastern Roman Empire. At its largest extent, it covered an area of approximately 2,278,000 square miles. It reached such vast territories that, considering today's borders, many countries such as Greece, Italy, Germany, France, England, Spain, Portugal, Turkey, Iraq, Syria, Egypt, Libya, Algeria, and Morocco were included in the empire. This state that existed in the world thousands of years ago is still popular today with TV series, movies, and computer games.